uh, um, yeah. Hi guys, uh, this is me again, and today, well, it's quite late right now, but today I'm going to show you how to make a, ex like, a professional, I mean professional, um, sniper game, or shooting game. This is an example. Okay, I lost, yeah, here's my cursor, or, uh, whatever they're called. Okay, when this guy shoots me, my health goes down. When I shoot him, he makes this little animation, and I lose a bullet. If I shoot this, I run a bullet. But when I run out of bullets, it tells me to reload, but I can't shoot anymore. If I press space, I reload, and I can shoot again. I have to do it again. When my thing goes all the way down, it comes to this frame and says you lose. Okay. Um, this is gonna be in lots of parts. So, bear with me, but it's gonna be good and it's very simple. Okay, and I'll, let's start off right now by naming the first layer enemy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's zoom in and make your enemy. I'm just gonna make an enemy. Actually, yeah, you can make your own enemy. I'm gonna stick to my basics. There. Okay, now it converts to a symbol. Make sure it's a movie clip and call it enemy or whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna give this actually sorry sorry not to give an instance name. Okay, double click into enemy and right before it shoots, we want it so it goes 20 frames without shooting. Um, and then the 20th, 21st frame. Let's have a gun. So, just make yourself a gun. Okay, so let me just quickly There we go, we can just make this our pen and convert to a symbol and make this a movie clip. I'm gonna call it enemy gun. Now in this frame I'm just gonna put it right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna make another frame, and I'm gonna make it so like the gun goes up. I'm gonna use onion skin quickly. And then I copy this frame again and just paste it. So it looks like. Okay, but on this frame, I'm gonna make it so there's. Uh, no, not on this frame. 
when it goes up, so it's like, so I'm gonna make some, um, you can make fire, but I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a red scene that makes everything turn red. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure this is the tip, this is on this, I'm gonna make it red, extra dark red. And I'm gonna put alpha on to about fifty. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, right before. Oops, accident. Okay, I'm really sorry about this, but you yeah, take away the f the first, the last two frames, and on this frame, I'm gonna make it. Actually, sorry, take away all the frames except for the first 20. So on this, uh, I'm going to convert. Actually, let's take away the 20th one as well. Okay, on this, I'm going to I'm gonna copy him and paste him again. Press F8 to convert him. And make sure it's a button now and call it enemy fire. Now double click into the enemy fire. Now delete the thing. Oops, sorry. Control Z. Copy it. Now press F7. 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 Then paste it in place by pressing Control Shift and V. And then this just delete it. So now you've sort of got like a outline of it. So for, um, an outline, yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna make my animations again. Oops. Okay, sorry about that. And press F11, F11 or Control L and then drag out your enemy gun. I'm going to put it back in position. Then F6. And then just remove it a little bit again. And then control alt uh, C, control alt C, alt C to copy the frame, and control alt V to paste it. So, so it looks like this. So we cannot see the thing. Okay, now I'm gonna make it so on this frame. Um, when you come here, I'm going to make it so it turns red. I'm going to convert this to a graphic. I'm going to call it blood. I'm going to copy it, and in the next frame, Control Shift V to paste it in place. So it looks like I'm getting shot. Okay, now that we've got all that done, 